KFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to your 2 p.m. update. I'm Steve Rhodes coming to you live from sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. Hope you're having a magical Monday. Right now, we've got all the indices in the green. The Dow is up 288 points, trading out at 24,061. The S&P up 35. The NASDAQ up 32. Only three tenths, four tenths of a percent to the upside. Russell 2000, the strong dog out here, up 4%, trading out at 1282. Let's begin by taking a look at the S&P 500 out here. It's got a Gartley cell pattern that is still in effect out here. Gartley cell pattern would have an A to B equal CD. That's going to look like this for the S&P 500. Let's go ahead and punch it in here for you. The A point is uh, the March 23rd low. The B point out here is the uh, high from uh, March 31st. And your C point of that A to B equal CD is the April 1st low. What you'll see is prices basically made the one-to-one -one price projection. That was 28.97. The actual high that uh, we're looking at took place on April 17th, and that was at 28.79. That's close enough for for us for the Gartley cell pattern, especially when the bear sash candle forms. That was on the trading day of April 20th. That creates resistance at 28.79. If price, the S&P 500, closes above 28.79.22, it's telling you that the Gartley cell pattern has failed. That means you wait for the next Gartley cell pattern. You wait for the next bearish reversal candle. Maybe price is headed to 28.97. That's not that much higher. You'd still see need to see that next bearish reversal candle. But as we speak at 2 one in the afternoon, the Gartley cell pattern inside the S&P 500 is still in play. If we go take a look at the Dow Jones Industrials, how about it? Well, guess what? It still has a Gartley cell pattern that is in play. Also had that same bear sash candle. So you'd be watching for if price were to close above 24, 264, 21, then that would negate the Gartley cell pattern. But as we speak at two o'clock in the afternoon, Price is just moving up to try to test a resistance level. Well, how about the old NDX 100? Well, guess what? She or he, it also has, what could call it it, my cousin it, it also has a Gertley cell pattern. Now, in its case, it was the shooting star. And that was at 88.55.18. So far today, that's been tested and rejected. So what do we know about the markets in this rally today? Hasn't changed the Gartley sell patterns for the S&P, the Dow, or the NDX 100. Thanks so much for being here, folks. Stay tuned. You got David White and then Tom O'Brien to take us on home from 3 to 4. Have a magical Monday. Have a great day.